This morning, we want to tell you about a remarkable innovation that's changing the way timeless art is created. For centuries, world-famous Carrera marble has been used to make some of the most iconic sculptures in history by famous artists like Michelangelo. His creations took hundreds, I mean hundreds of hours. Now, as Chris Livesay shows us, a new type of artist is speeding up the process of bringing art to life. It was the marble of Michelangelo, Canova, and now... It's called 1L. A robot, 13 feet of zinc alloy doing the work of an army of Renaissance sculptors, says Giacomo Massari, the owner of Robotor, the company behind this invention. It's working right now on a, on a Venus, on a Venus sculpture. I think it's gonna take about four days, four or five days. And how long would it have taken you before 1L got the job? A couple of months. That's a good employee. <laughs> he doesn't go on a holiday, he doesn't get sick, he doesn't even sleep. Crafting statues at an industrial scale and speed. It's coated with, uh, with the diamond powder. Diamonds? Yeah. Synthetic oh, wow. diamond powder, yeah. It's the, the best cutting system. In the very hills of Carrara, where Michelangelo sourced the marble for his David and Pietà. Today, art stars like Jeff Koons and Maurizio Catalan work closely with Giacomo, first to transform their ideas into 3D images, then sculpt them into blockbusters of their own, with a precision that's superhuman. So this is like the Photoshop of sculpture. Yeah, more or less, yes. It saves a lot of waste. And uh, if there is something that is wrong or you don't like it, you can just go back. The cool thing about, about also this technology is that we allow the artist to think without any limit. Thanks to a synergy of software and robotics, that might be the real work of art. What do you say to somebody who's scandalized by this, who'd say Michelangelo would be rolling in his grave? Robot technology doesn't steal the job of the humans, uh, but just improves it. Some humans, however, might disagree. Here in the workshop of the Florence Cathedral, sculptors like Lorenzo Calcinai have maintained and repaired the cathedral's vast inventory of marble statues for centuries, the old-fashioned way. We risk forgetting how to work with our hands, he says. I hope that a certain know-how and knowledge will always remain, although the more we go forward, the harder it will be to preserve it. But even he admits his profession can't remain anchored to old technologies. Outsourcing is nothing new. Renaissance masters, including Michelangelo, hired teams of anonymous artisans who executed their concepts. Today, some artists, like Kunz and Catalan, are upfront about using the robots. Others prefer not to advertise it. I think art is related to the, to the thought. So if you can imagine something, uh, it's already a unique piece of art. And uh, with people like us that are just the contemporary uh, artisans, uh, there are people that bring this idea to life. But while these modern artisans are no doubt extraordinary, even they require old-fashioned humans to apply the finishing touches. Giacomo says 1L hasn't achieved perfection on his own yet. How close are you now? Are you at 100 percent? Not really, not really. I think let's say we are at 99 percent. 99 percent? 99 percent, but still the human touch makes the, makes the difference. That 1 percent is so important. For CBS Mornings, Chris Livesay, Carrara, Italy. All right, Vlad, so what do you think? I'm a skeptic. Uh, to me, my own opinion, art is an expression that comes from the soul. Uh, every chisel uh, that Michelangelo or Rodin, the most, one of the most beautiful sculptures, The Kiss, that can't come from a computer. You can tell a computer to do it, mm -hmm. but that expression of these great artists, Michelangelo, Donatello, but that what about can't the fact be done by a computer. That a robot can help an artist create more and maybe push their art because they have the opportunity to create more art mm. over their lifetime. Think about that. Think about that during the break. <laughs> yes, I'll, I'll, I'll sleep on that, Adrian. Sleep on that one. Go see, everybody just Google the picture of Rodin's The Kiss and tell me if you think a machine could have come up with it. They can certainly do it, right. but can they? It comes from here. And Vlad, 
<laughs> speaks his truth. And Rodin the thinker, uh, the, his uh, famous uh, one. Uh, the yeah. Rodin Museum in Paris, I miss you. 